What in the yee yee mud bogging truck driving Copenhagen loving? It's my second cousin. It don't count. Camouflage wearing white power Billy Bob is going on in here. <laughs> it's 7 20 in the morning. Since I since it's summer, I don't live on campus anymore, so I have to drive to Denton every morning because my class starts at 8 a.m. So, let's go. I just finished my last class, thank the gods. It's finally over, that was literally the longest 11 days of my entire life. So I'm gonna go home now, eat some lunch, probably take a nap, and then I'm gonna meet back up with my friend and we're gonna go to Starbucks and study for our final tomorrow. <sighs> it's the next day. I just finished taking my final. I got a 90 on it. I'm gonna get my A in the class. I mean, I wasn't really worried about not getting an A, but like, I'm just so relieved to finally be finished. And yeah. Now that I'm done, I'm gonna go to Walmart and try to find like a cheap bathing suit because I'm going swimming with my friends tomorrow and I don't have a swimsuit. Um, I think the last thing I vlogged was I said I was gonna go to Walmart and look for a bathing suit. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Walmart literally had the ugliest swimsuits. I didn't even end up going swimming, which is fine because I didn't get a swimsuit, so. And yeah i didn't really do anything interesting i just worked the next day i mean i hung out with my friends but we just ate and <laughs> yeah i just worked on saturday and then on sunday oh i went to a grad party but i forgot to vlog because there i have no excuse for that and today i have to work and that's it it was raining this morning which was exciting because it's really cool outside and I can wear jeans to work now so that's a relief because I need to do laundry and I'm running out of clothes to wear so yeah it's like it's like 11 45 right now um I need to clean up and then I'm gonna get ready for work aka put on real clothes and then mascara and then go to work Now that I'm finished cleaning my room, it's like, oh, it's 12.50, and I'm just gonna make some lunch and then probably head to work after I finish lunch. I am going to make a yogurt parfait because, I don't know, I'm trying to eat healthier and we don't really have that much like lunch food, you know? Like I don't really feel like making anything. So, I mean, I'm making this yogurt parfait, but I'm gonna grab my bare naked granola. My Greek yogurt, and then I'm gonna get strawberries from the fridge and cut them up. Look at this huge mug. Doesn't this just look so good? Shout out to my friend Sarah for turning me on to this. Yeah, showing me. The world of parfaits, so good. Literally my favorite snack to eat right now. And then I get in these moods where I kind of get tired of water and I just want to like switch it up. And we don't really have anything besides this that looks good to me. It's like a, what are these called? A juice box. And on the back it literally says, good for you. And then I just have my water and like this reusable Starbucks cup. So yeah. I'm just gonna eat this and then probably watch some Netflix and then go to work. Okay, so I just realized something. That yogurt parfait, if you know what fresas con crema is, 
the yogurt parfait that I just made, because it has vanilla Greek yogurt and then the strawberries, and then, like, at the place that I get it, you can get either um, granola or, what's it called? Pecan. And I always get granola. I love granola. And I just realized that's literally fresas con crema. This is just a healthier version. So freaking good. Highly recommend. So I just got out of work and my coworker gave me this gift card to, not gift card. She gave me this coupon to Corner Bakery and it's basically like a free meal. So I'm gonna go try and get some free Corner Bakery. I got my free meal. Oh my gosh, this is literally so much food. Like they gave me a whole salad and half a panini. Yeah, half a panini, a pickle, and potato chips. Okay. That's amazing. So I'm going to go home and grub. And then probably check to see if, if my professor posted anything online. Because I start my second summer, my second and final summer class tomorrow. So pretty boring afternoon evening evening but yeah I'm sitting in the Starbucks parking lot cuz I just got Starbucks in my environmentally friendly cup <laughs> great I definitely just spilled it all over myself so <laughs> Uh, I just finished my class and I had I didn't vlog since I freaking spilled my coffee all over myself. I literally, uh, I don't want to show it. Like I literally got it like all over the side of my shirt and it's like all over my car, which is kind of embarrassing. But I was like, whatever. Like I did, it's cold in my class, so I, I knew that I was gonna need a sweatshirt. Anyway, so I was just like, whatever. I didn't go home and change. But that's so like that's such a letdown. Like I was literally so excited to get Starbucks and then I just spill it all over myself but whatever so I'm editing this vlog right now and I forgot to update you guys so I tweeted that I was so excited to get Starbucks and then that I dropped it all over myself and Starbucks contacted me and they told me to DM them my favorite drink and then I DM'd them and they gave me eight dollars for another drink i was so excited i haven't used it yet i haven't gone to starbucks since i spilled it all over myself but i thought that was so nice like they were so nice about it and they gave me eight freaking dollars for a free drink that's like two drinks maybe like one and a half but yeah i don't know i just thought that was so nice anyway back to the vlog um yeah my first class was freaking long for freaking hours and the professor was late on the first day and there's only 19 of us in like a 60 person class I don't know it was weird but yeah so and it's 4 4 13 now so I feel like my entire day was wasted because I had to leave at 11 30 and now it's 4 almost 4 30 so like yeah I don't know probably just gonna go home and like do stuff that I need to do for the class and Oh yeah, I bought the textbook online, and like I ordered it on Amazon, and I was sitting in the class and she was like, yeah, the slides are really all you need, like you're not going to have time to read through the chapters in the textbook, so like just print out the slides and you'll be good, and so I was like, well crap, let me cancel my order on Amazon, and so I go to cancel it and they're like, well we might not be able to do this because it's about to ship, so like we might not be able to cancel it. So, I tried to cancel it, and sure enough, they emailed me, and they were like, sorry, we couldn't cancel it. So, I'm probably going to have to return it once it ships, and that kind of sucks, because I, like, I had to pay, like, six, seven, or eight dollars for shipping to get it, like, overnighted. But whatever. What? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Today is interesting, but it's fine. I'm just going to go home kind of chill out not really like go that hard for this class but yeah sorry that was like a lot of talking but whatever I'm gonna go home and yeah and body works is having a sale and your mom buys the whole freaking store 
they would definitely stay here. I just want to know why this mall has the Ten Commandments. That's what I said last time we were here. <laughs> Okay, so I'm talking about, I asked my mom, like, why are, why are the Ten Commandments? It's not allowed, because, like, that's religious. Is that allowed? What is this allowed? Is that allowed? Is this allowed? And then Lauren goes, Lauren goes, but it's not religious. And then my mom looks at her and goes, you idiot. Yes, it is. <laughs> I look rough. And then, you? and then Lauren goes, no, the Ten Commandments is the Bill of Rights. And then I was like, the... The first Ten Amendments is the Bill of Rights, you idiot. So Lauren really thought that the Ten Commandments were the Ten Amendments, and that the Ten Commandments were, wasn't part of Christianity. So what's your history teacher's name? I don't even remember. That year was a blur. I'm just kidding. I really, wait. What Texas history was that? Texas history, it's part of Christianity. How many times am I gonna tell you? No, I remember learning about like checks and balances in Texas history. That's a part of the well, Miss right? Johnston, if you're watching this, <gasps> you stop. I love you, Miss John. Actually, I I do. You're a great teacher, and thank you for teaching me everything. That was actually my favorite history. So, but if you're watching this, you fail as a teacher. Stop. What if she actually sees this? She's not gonna see it. I have like ten views. My sister is really sorry. Oh, okay. That was so ugly. I hate myself. Stop. No paparazzi, please. Talk to my manager. Hi, I am your manager. <laughs> You're right. See, it's all a big tree circle. It's a pyramid scheme. What are we doing? Lock my car because it's awesome. Oh. Open it. Wow, what, what a nice going? car. Fantastic. Sexy. Mine's better. Shelby, where are we going? We're going to David Buster's. It's very dark. Yeah, it's 9.02. Not Check out alone. my car Show play. Drive. Look good live. Got all my live. messages. Look good live. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you play this? Here we are. Congrats on graduating. Thanks. Spongebob cards and spending a lot of money on one game. <laughs> <laughs> All the games were so loud, obviously. But yeah, um, today I just went to my friend Shelby's graduation party. And yeah, it was really fun. I just hung out a lot, basically. And then we went to Dave and & Buster's and that was really fun. And yeah, we all got these, we all got these matching little, like, um, what are these called? Mason jar, like, cups or something. I don't know. I'm probably gonna put iced coffee in it because I've been digging making iced coffee, but... I don't know. I just thought these were really cute. And so I got one and then everyone else was like, oh, I want one too. So I thought that was kind of cool. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you want to see more.